Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 13th. So, but remember, the timing is fluid. We've talked about that, so I'm not going to get into it. But this is for March 13th, before or after, right? Um, what do we got? What do we have for the 13th? What a card to fall out. Can you see it? Let me bring it closer. It's painful. It's pain. It's suffering. It's hurt. It's not good. It could have been a fallout, right? Something could have fallen out, and now there's some pain involved. I mean, the Three of Swords is heartache. So there could be some rejection. There could be a painful separation. There could be a loss. Oh, the Hierophant. Um, this is believe in yourself. Have faith. Have faith. Listen to your inner guide at this time. You may be uh, given some information from within that is going to help you. You know, th this could also uh, have to do with a commitment. You know, there could be a painful separation from a commitment. I mean, there could be. Um, It looks like somebody is getting ready to make a move or they're moving. They are getting ready to go someplace else, unfortunately. I mean, maybe it's not unfortunately. Maybe that's what they need to do. It's time to follow their own path. Maybe they're being intuitively guided to go someplace else. Maybe they've been living in a painful situation and it's time to go someplace else. I don't know. Oh. Four of Swords. There is definitely some pain here. You notice the three swords up here and one down here. Somebody is needing to heal from pain. It's time to recover. It's time to recuperate. Somebody is needing to go through a period of recuperation, maybe even a period of solitude, you know, to be able to take back their power. Somebody is letting go of an old idea, an old thought, they, an old way. It's like it's not working anymore. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a shake up here. There's there's a, there's a um and I don't even need the tower card to see that. We have an ending, a big one. I mean, that's what the world card is, a big huge ending. One phase of somebody's life is over. And it was a very prominent phase. It was something that had a big impact. Somebody has learned a lesson, a big lesson. The lesson has been learned, and it's time to move on. So somebody is moving on. We have a major completion here. And it could be simply a completion of grieving. Somebody could have been grieving for so long. Now they finally believe in themselves. It's time to go someplace else. It's time to begin again. You know, somebody may be deciding it's just, 
It's time. It's time to step over that finish line and head out. Start over. I've learned. Two of Wands and the King of Cups. Somebody is making a decision to finally, you know, cross that bridge. Follow their heart. Uh, it's like a decision is being made to move forward, seriously. And you notice, usually there's the world again. It's like... There's a great big world out there. It's time. It's time for me to travel. It's time for me to go. Somebody is ready to expand their horizons after going through a very painful separation by the looks of things. Or just experiencing a lot of heartache. It feels like somebody has decided that it's time for me to follow my heart. It's time for me to heal. It's time for me to follow my intuition. Somebody is finding the mental strength to master their emotions and follow their heart, really. That's what this is. I mean, the King of, King of Cups. It's like, it's time to break free. It's a time of liberation. It is. It is. With the Ten of Swords, it's time, it's time to break free and go someplace else, relocate. Go. It's time for me to plant my seeds someplace else. I mean, it's time to relocate. Some people are deciding it is literally time to relocate, to move. Somebody has been in a really stressful, painful situation for long enough. And now they don't have any more strength to fight. There's no more desire to hold on to it. There's no more confidence in it. it, it I don't have any willpower left. I can't do this anymore. Somebody is giving up. They've grown too weak. You know, it's, it's, it's affected their health. You know, there's been some unfair treatment. There's been some unfair treatment. There's been a, a lack of integrity. There's somebody didn't want to be held accountable, and it's been a terrible injustice. It's time. It's it's time to finalize. And, and, it, and this is about, about finality, but it's reversed, making a final decision. But with this card right here, I thought this was the world, but it's actually the Wheel of Fortune. doesn't matter. Whatever comes out, comes out. Same kind of meaning anyway. Um, it's time for a change. There's destined change on the horizon. Somebody has probably been holding on to a lie I mean that's what the justice is it's lies it's dishonesty it's lack of truth and this this dishonesty has caused a lack of balance in their lives lack of balance lack of harmony and even bad luck bad karma and there's an opportunity to have something better once you relocate once you stop investing in something that is already dead done so I feel like somebody no longer has the strength to hold on to a lie They have probably been given the guidance 
either from their intuition or above or from a counselor or from somebody. It could be anybody. Somebody has been given the guidance that it's time to go. It's time to break free. It is time to recuperate and head in a better direction. This change that is happening is leading you to a better place. It's bringing you closer to your life's purpose. You could consider this a lucky break. Somebody's life is about to change for the better with the Wheel of Fortune. After they have been in a situation that probably was karmic with the justice reversed. They've been through a bad karmic lesson. And it's like now they're deciding to finally cross that bridge and... Look at things differently. Look at look at look at the world as you know, the world is my oyster. I, there's so many options. I have so many options available. I feel like I mean we have the King of Cups, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, with Taurus. We have Leo, Libra. We have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio up here. We have anybody else. It really doesn't matter about the signs. I mean, we could call this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We could call this Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. So, yeah, we have everybody here. Somebody has decided that it's time to break free from this situation that has no more growth and relocate to another destination whether this is actually get up and move like pack your bags and move or the destination could be a new job it could be a new partnership or whatever it is somebody is breaking free from a situation that is not meant to be okay it's not meant to be it's not real it's not it's not truthful it's not honest it's not the right thing okay it's not the right situation Oh, the five of swords. This is breaking. This is severing the ties. I have nothing to prove anymore. I just want to be happy. It's all about being happy. I have nothing left to prove. There's been a lot of power struggles. You know, it's like making the decision. Do you, do you still want to... Do you want to be right? Or do you want to be happy? It's time to let go of the ego. I Somebody is deciding that I just want better things. I just want happiness. I just want the good things, not the bad things. And I think that somebody has learned something through lack of integrity. They may have received some bad karma for their actions. And now, you know... There's been a big loss. There has. There's been a big loss. There's been a loss of abundance. There's been a loss of stability and security. And I feel like now somebody, you know, they want it back. They want the good things again. And so they they know that they have to, you know, listen. You know, they have to listen to their intuition. They have to listen to the guidance. They have to... Break free from things that have no more growth. So, oh, somebody is getting or has gotten a reality check. 
It's like the truth has come out. It's like the truth is revealed. The truth is being accepted. It can't be hidden anymore. The truth can no longer be hidden. Somebody has been living in a situation that was dishonest. I mean, that's all there is to it. They may have been staying in the situation just because it was stable and secure, but there's been so many feuds, there's been so many fights, there's so much, been so much dishonesty that, you know, I, I can't pretend anymore that this is not working. I cannot pretend that this is abundant. I can't pretend that we're going to grow anything when it's there's been too much pain or too much hurt oh my god you get the ten of cups reversed the ten of pentacles reversed and the ten of swords reversed we have a relationship a partnership or something that is absolutely positively coming to an end and I don't know whose relationship it is maybe it's already come to an end I don't know oh my god the emperor on the verb on the bottom the emperor and now I would I had it like this so we'd say it's reversed somebody has been clinging to control trying to control the outcome you know not wanting to um, look bad to others you know somebody has been um, they've lost their concentration and they've lost their focus perhaps because of out of fear of what the rest of the world was gonna think and I feel we've come to a point of you can't hide the truth anymore. You can't control the outcome. It's time to go. You can't you can't pretend anymore. It's time to go. So I feel there's definitely some sort of truth that is coming out or some sort of revelation or some sort of ending for sure. Okay, okay. we have a, the Ten of Cups, like I said, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. We absolutely, positively have an ending here, and it is a blessing in disguise. We have a painful separation that is a blessing in disguise because it is going to lead you towards a better place towards better things. The Wheel of Fortune, that's exactly why the Wheel of Fortune is here. And with that justice reversed right underneath it, there's been a bad situation that is coming to an end. Period. And that is what this is. So, it is. It is. I mean, a bad situation, a lie, is coming to an end. Something dishonest, a lack of integrity, a no truth, you know, whatever it was, it could go, I could keep going. It's over. It's over. The worst is over. Trust me, it is. The worst is over. Um, I have nothing left to prove. I don't have any strength to prove myself. I don't want to prove myself. It's time for me to recover, and I'm going to do it on my own. It's time for me to go. This relationship or commitment or whatever it is is over. I'm going my own way. I know that it hurts. It hurts me. It hurts you. Whatever. It's time for me to go. That's the reality of it. There's no more happily ever after in this situation. Whoever this is for, it, there's no stability, there's no security, there's, there's no more emotional fulfillment, there's no more content. It's like, it's time for me to go. So I do not know who this reading is for, but somebody is headed out of a situation that I put that justice upright look at that they, it's funny it was reversed I, I don't I don't even remember doing that but obviously I did so somebody is doing it because it's the right thing to do it's the right thing to do I have to act with integrity I have to do the right thing it is time for me to head to this better place I can't live this in this unbalanced, dishonest, untruthful situation anymore. Goodbye. So I don't know 
who this reading is for, but it is for somebody. We are going to go with, well, we'll do this deck again because it happens to be one of my favorite decks. So let's see. Whoever this person is that is deciding to, you know, do the right thing, it's because they have good intentions. It's what their heart is telling them to do. They have to follow. They're being guided to follow their heart because they know that they're living some sort of lie. So whoever that's for, somebody's been living a lie and their heart's telling them, I've got to go. And that's what they're doing. Um... Somebody is definitely making a decision to move forward. Away. Away from this quarrel, whatever it was. Yeah, and like I said right here, crossing that bridge. Some, I did say it at the very beginning, too. I love it when that happens. I absolutely did. Crossing bridges. I remember I said somebody is going to heal. Somebody needs to heal. They know they need to heal. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. I mean, it's just going to sum up my reading. Crossing bridges is a way to let go of the past and begin a new cycle in life. A heartfelt change is ahead. I can't make this shit up. You know that I can't. I said somebody's following their heart. I did. And I know that's what's going on. I always, I mean, we talk. Me and my angels. A heartfelt change is ahead. It's time for healing old wounds with people and situations. And that is what it is. It's time to forgive and let go of the past. Do whatever you need to do to make amends and then let it all go. If there is anything unresolved in your life, take steps to restore and reconcile. You may even need to burn that bridge behind you. Heal the rifts within yourself. Help other tra have help others traverse bridges in their lives. When the traveler crosses a bridge, a new land awaits on the other side. You are ready to cross a bridge. There are times to step away from certain people and situations. There are also times to carefully mend bridges with people, situations, and places, and then go forward. This is one of those powerful healing times to choose. Maybe there is a wound inside of you that needs to be forgiven or accepted. And there is absolutely, positively a wound inside that needs to be forgiven and accepted. That's no joke. This is one of those pain, painful healing times to choose. Maybe there is a wound inside of you that needs to be forgiven or accepted. Transform the inner grievance. Forgive and let it go. Do it now. You no longer need to carry it with you. Perhaps there is a person from your past with whom you should reconnect or release completely. You know what you need to do, and that is absolutely evident. You do know what you need to do. Somebody's been lying to themselves and denying what they know, and that is an issue. Karma sees that shit. Anyhow. You know what you need to do. This is the time to do it. If you are being guided to, to do something, whatever it is, do it. And that is what I have talk to you next time. I'm actually going to finish up my weekly readings for I did the air signs last night so I'm going to do the earth, fire, and water now. Talk to you later.